Is it dark? It's a little dark. I have to get in the mood of vlogging. I already drank some. This is actually a glass for sake. I swear I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> just using the glass be just because I have it. And over here I have tea, the Japanese tea. So magical, so magical. This can hold a lot of tea, I'm surprised, but you remember this from last video? I already had like two of these and I'm feeling very hot. I'm hot. Let's just drink and have a chat because just because I can. Just because I can. Anna Johnson, anyone? Oh, I swear, this is just tea. <laughs> this is tea. I am happy. I am grateful for my appearance. I am happy for myself being funny. I am grateful for all the people that surround me because they're very supportive. I'm grateful for the smartness that I have. Uh, my brain is awesome. Just awesome. Like awesome. <laughs> I'm grateful for my laughter. For my laughter, I am grateful for my body which enables me to laugh because it requires lots of stomach muscles and yes, yes. <laughs> my life coach. It was a two Two sessions ago, she told me to do this gratitude exercise before filming videos so that I get in the zone, like the, my comfortable, happy state, like confident state. And it relaxes my face, you know, it doesn't matter what it is that you say to yourself, but just saying the stuff that makes you happy, makes you relaxed, and makes you feel confident, all that sort of things. If you do that before you have to do, you're about to do something important, you're gonna feel like god or whatever <laughs> so hey guys how's it going it's me yoko from japan welcome back to my channel so by me sitting down here right now shows that i am making a move to something new okay that doesn't make sense to you so the reason why i am on youtube or any other social media is because i want to document my life that's the origin of random yoko really I have many ch different channels, but that is the origin of me being on YouTube aside from me competing with all the other musicians in the world because I thought that I was better than them and I wanted to show off like, hey, I'm better than you and that's how I started on YouTube. But every day growing up, I was like, oh, I might die today or tomorrow and therefore I should create a thing that I want to do before I die so I can be historical or some sort. Like if I get some kind of inspiration, whether it's music or art, I have to make it on the day, like even videos, I have to, I have to finish on the day. <laughs> so that I can rest in peace if I do die, you know what I mean? So I was like rushing, rushing, rushing and by that I was actually um, damaging my body. I'm just born with this special sense that I, I want to document my life and I want to keep the record of me living the day that I'm living right now. You know, just like life is like cherry blossoms to us Japanese, you know, that when the sakura flowers bloom, it's only like a week or two, right? And they are... Ah, and they they just go <laughs> instantly and life is like that that's how we Japanese see and the soldiers back in the day like during the war they was like we express their death as chiru you know that like to ba -ba -ba -ba, that's that's like death to us so it's beautiful and it's so it's nice. I, I don't know how to translate that word, but because it's such a short time, it's so meaningful and divine and all the beautiful things, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I'm coming to realize now that I'm speaking to you guys about this, that I don't like the sense of loss, you know? Even though this world, we all have everything, you know? Even if like physical things leave or get broken or destroyed or uh, get like get rotten and transform into something else this glass won't be here for forever this cell phone won't be here for forever me my body won't be here for forever and i just see the future like that so the people i encounter i'm like oh i won't see this guy again <laughs> or something like that, you know what i mean like i'm i'm awful in that way but like when i look at my parents i always feel like oh my gosh they're not gonna be around for forever and that's where my gratitude comes from so it's kind of negative but 
as a result I'm positive so that's good but I just have that sense you know so I really love documenting my life so every day we humans have like 60,000 or 70,000 um, thoughts every day uh, scientifically speaking and oh that sound is so smart <laughs> Of course, 90% of the thoughts are the same pattern as the previous day and so on But there are some new chemical reactions in our body, especially in the brain And we think about something new I can't make the sound, but you know So I rambled a lot, but what I'm trying to say here Is that I wanna keep the record of those small reactions And I'm in the habit of taking notes all the time So every day, I make it a habit to take a note when something hits me you know whether it's something I've known or whether it's when my subconscious finally verbalized what I was thinking and so on or when my subconscious um, find examples to explain what I was thinking about and so on I take notes all the time and it's piling up and I thought like that's maybe something that I should share with people oh this is such a long intro and my spiritual friend I'm not sure if I told you about her on this channel I remember talking about her on my IGTV channel so make sure to follow me on Instagram and watch my past video like old videos but um, she says that I'm the kind of person who doesn't need tarot and all the cards, oracle cards and so on she says that I don't need that all the messages are coming down so I just have to deliver you know and I'm like that's you know whether it's true or not whether it's just my efforts all you know coming to life i don't care how it happens but i thought like oh i want to give these intuitive messages to the world and along the line maybe i talk about politics maybe i talk about society let me have more tea he i look like a witch <laughs> maybe i am i'm sitting like this so my posture might be a little weird <laughs> What should we talk about? So in Japan, let's talk about politics because I think a lot of you right now are interested in politics. Let's recap what happened in Japan. Recent activities that I pay attention to are one, the election in Okinawa and two, uh, our uh, reshuffle of the cabinet and three, typhoons. Let's start with the typhoons. The typhoon we had a massive one like last week we had several in september and now it's october and we had one last week and another is coming with the same course thankfully though it will be gone before we want it to be gone because we have this political march in the city on the 7th was it 7th yeah we have it on the 7th of october about the abduction by north korea it said that they have kidnapped over 800 people from japan north korea kidnapped so many japanese people so we are here to protest you know we should be protesting against the japanese government because they are the one that's not doing enough right but because it's Abe administration we can't say strongly because we want the administration to last so it's like the difficult part of politics, you know. <laughs> Whenever I criticize the administration, people around me come to me, like call me, text me, whatever, and they're like, Yaka, just stop it already, all right? There's nothing productive about criticizing Abe administration because Prime Minister Abe is trying his best, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, politics is results, man. It's about the outcome. And I want to say that, but there are like experts, people. So I'm like, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> and I just okay hmm. Hmm. after the rally we have a march and we march down the city for I don't know like 30 minutes whatever and obviously it's gonna be outside so we don't want it to rain I really hope the typhoon will be gone by then like perfectly but I'm speaking about typhoon from like a Fukuoka prefecture perspective <laughs> because I live in Pre Fukuoka prefecture of Kyushu Island and I have no idea what other people in other places are thinking about the typhoon I can't speak for them because I don't know like let's be honest but anyway there was an election in Okinawa to decide the top of the Okinawa prefecture so long story short the leftist candidate won and the conservative one lost and so we are like Ugh, what are we gonna do it's pretty much the same as the previous one I believe that they are 
they're just leftist. So it might be uh, annoying to the US and also uh, because they are anti-US or US army and they are pro-China. Uh, and the thing is that China is of course there already at the Senkaku Islands and so on. It's critical to make the matter worse. There is this guy called Ichiro Ozawa. Um, he was first elected as a LDP politician, but he got out of LDP and made all different kinds of parties. And he's the kind of politician that's really, really bad, but knows how to survive as a politician. But anyway, the man Ozawa was helping the leftist candidate in Okinawa. So that means that because the ca leftist candidate won in Okinawa, the supporter like Ozawa get to have a say, right, to Okinawa politics from now on. So, and he is very, the Ozawa is anti-Abe, so not a good picture but actually I'm not following the news right now and also I don't know much about Okinawa to be honest with you so I'll ask my political friends and tell you guys what I need to tell you all right and one more political thing is the as I said is the reshuffle of Abe cabinet as I said I live in Fukuoka prefecture and our politician here that represents the 5th district of Fukuoka prefecture like election wise I've been voting for him locally so Mr. Yoshiaki Harada who I kept voting for was not only won the election a while back he was chosen as the new minister and he's now in the cabinet like for the first time in his 8 times that he was elected that's like super duper experienced politician that's powerful you know it's weird to that he was not chosen before but we have all these tricky systems you know especially inside of LDP the party LDP is so huge that they have like small sects it's not even small like some are very big but they have like different kinds of people right like groups so uh, usually the cabinet picks from each one and so on so but right now i'm just happy for my local politician to be chosen because i've even made a speech for his election it was 2014 winter um it was when like right after i got into politics and so on but um he his office invited me to speak for the event like the launching day of the election period i spoke to encourage him and his supporter and that video is on his website and so on and um, I've been like the, the office is very nice to me the the politician himself is very nice to me they want to use influences like myself so I'm like I'm, I'm here to promote him and so on so yeah I'm glad that I don't know how much I helped but I'm glad that somebody that I was supporting made it to the cabinet like wow i never thought that i would have this kind of experience in my life so Ooh, so happy for him as you can probably see in english news there are like 12 um politicians that made it to the cabinet for the first time so yeah it's interesting but yeah i need to follow the news but i've been very busy oh actually speaking of which we are asians <laughs> we asians are we are establishing this new organization that's big in tokyo and that consists of eight asian countries and i've been helping that translating and so on and i realized like you know why i'm not rich that's because i do lots of volunteer work <laughs> you know what they say they say that if you want money ask for it and what am i doing i'm not ask for, asking for it i'm like okay i'll help you and i help and i devote my time and energy and everything and uh i forget to make money so i'm really thankful for those who are supporting me on patreon but let me just tell you that i'm just grateful for you that you're there to listen to me is that all for now yeah these are hair man oh, it's hot Anything else, guys? Anything else? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm having daily realizations. So let me share. Let's talk a little bit more, just because I can. This editing will be so hard, but whatever. Um, I was thinking of. I think this is a good one. Yeah, 
this is related to what I was saying in the beginning that uh, I, I took notes in English somehow you're not making a final product right now well in a sense you are but it's not the final product that you are working on you are practicing for certain something you have to find the hidden message from the inside of you it's got the map you're always training so randomly enough I'm gonna talk about some self-development slash spirituality here but subconsciously we all have this certain map of things whether it's made up of patterns in the past or whether it's something that you want to achieve there's this map like for your body you have a DNA and everything that programs your being right same thing for the future you have this certain kind of map in your system and you are working accordingly to that so every day we speak the certain thing we reach out for certain people certain things because there is the reason the map the something the like a blueprint of our being or our life and we are based on that we are taking actions but the interesting thing that you could do right now is to dive deep into yourself and find the map inside of you you are here but what is this leading to like let's look at me i was i got interested in english when i was 15 like so much even though english was the worst subject for me in school i somehow met this amazing teacher in cram school who was very very funny and i started to study hard and uh, and then i started to have this vision of me being able to speak like this actually i wanted to speak english freely like fluently like a native speaker and i started to envision myself like that right and that's the end result that i was seeing as a teenager surprisingly as a teenager i was like i want to be mistaken as a native speaker and i studied so freaking hard here i am <laughs> it's not at the native speaker level but i believe that i can say that this is like a full and fluent level or look at me in the past several years i got interested in politics in 2012 and i started to make videos like this you know talking about politics and it was first only in japanese just grabbing information from books and information that's out there already but i combined everything and I was speaking in my videos then this publisher wanted to publish a book of a bunch of videos combined and I also have audience so with that now I am pretty much like I can write for magazines like famous conservative magazines if I want to along the way I started to pay attention to the politics in America using English right so if you look back it's like I was preparing to do this right now what i'm doing right now like preparing from like when i was 15 i learned english and then i learned japanese politics and now i'm on to the american politics it was working from vice versa but you can if you want to you can look at it vice versa like this from the future to the past that maybe you were preparing all along to come to this place that you are in right now and so right now along the way of the Japanese politics part I encountered Shintoism which I didn't give a sh which I didn't care about before Shintoism was you know on my interest radar for a while and then I met my spiritual friend last year she's converting me into like a spiritual person because uh, she's actually just bringing out my true self who was all along spiritual so so right now i am coming to realize that maybe this whole journey was to come to this place i'm here to release myself or unleash myself from everything breaking free from this system that's not serving me or us and uh, maybe i'm here to introduce all the traditional things that actually works for the people today and so on like if you think about your whole journey to come to this point in life it's just so much drama <laughs> it's so much it's such a big scale of a production don't you think it really makes you feel like you're the chosen one <laughs> some people think the chosen one uh, concept is like silly but or dumb but i'm like i like it it's fun it's 
very like it gives you hope it's just so exciting to think like that and live like that so right now I'm like what's there you know if I keep going on what's there over there I can't see yet but what's there maybe I can decide by myself but it's just so fun and interesting and right now by the way I am writing Japanese um, blog I first was posting on Facebook all the spiritual or self-development posts that make me feel good and I want to share the wisdom or tips to, with other people and I started to post on Facebook and my friend said that I should write for the blog service in Japanese and I started to do that and the very first post that I was writing about I realized I, I, it felt so weird while writing it I felt like oh this is the beginning of a book that I'm gonna publish you know because I got in the zone and I was like this is like a book like <laughs> it's book it's a book that I'm writing right now and that's the feeling that I had even though it's a bunch of like realization everyday realization it's like it has the book ish touch to it and I'm enjoying the process and just the other day uh, I started to shift my thought pattern somehow <clears throat> and come up with all the scheduling tips in life which was my biggest assignment in life it's, it, it was the problem of my life, my entire life since when I was a little kid I didn't know how to plan I suck at planning because I'm so impulsive <laughs> and I don't want to miss out on things or I don't want to just keep give myself pressure so I, I really don't like planning or I didn't like it but now I'm starting to understand that because I see the end result like the book or the spirituality thing because I see the end result of myself just like I did with like English studying I started to think like especially because now it's the end of the year and now it's like the best time as a last part now is the best time to plan out the rest of the year to welcome the next year, right? So I started to think, like, what should I do? Because I want to feel new and accomplished and really, I want to feel good when I start the new year. So I was like, what should I do? And I started to think like, oh, maybe I want to publish a book by the end of this year. So the people in Japan, it's in Japanese, so people in Japan can start off the year with my tips in the book they just have to buy online it's gonna it's not gonna be like a paper book because I just wanna publish online for free and maybe free maybe not I don't know but <laughs> so then people can reach out to the my words and they can plan out the year based on my tips and ah that would be so exciting maybe I was just practicing all these things to come to that place maybe I'm putting this up to do some like a certain something that I don't know of yet so it's very interesting and uh, by the way I, when I started to have this like a shift in my thinking I have oracle cards like a kamisama cards like we have lots of god-ish figures in Japan it's not Jesus Christ but it's like very super power you know and each card like 49 cards I think and I just randomly scatter scatter them around and pick one and it showed like the shift in your thinking like exactly what I was doing and I was like wow like this oh this is so fun I'm really really digging it and I've been talking here for like an hour and I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this video hopefully I can shorten it but anyway October man October so far is good very busy but so good next week I really hope that I can get done with these two projects one of them is the March another thing is a secret project you're gonna like it or hate it I don't know but it's happening next week it's next week so after next week I'm gonna be like <gasps> uh, like I can finally just relax a little bit and then diving to the launching event of the Asian um, uh, organization so Ah, lots of things to do and in the time between I have to go to the haircut place and so on I want to straighten my hair and so on because look at this it's so humid so it's like uh, and it's so long you guys so long like up to here can you see 
like here so long <laughs> okay anyway my battery is dying so I'm gonna go if you haven't already subscribed to this channel and also hit the bell so that you will get notifications make sure to follow me on Twitter Facebook Instagram and so on when I'm not posting on Instagram I'm posting on Twitter or when I'm not posting on Twitter I'm posting on Facebook and so on so make sure to follow me okay and I hope you enjoyed this type of videos um, yeah so anyway I hope you guys are doing well and I will talk to you soon bye